Here is a disease which uh, we may not be able to totally show just on light microscopy, and it's usually diagnosed uh, much better by electron microscopy, but nevertheless, let's look at it a little bit. This is a kidney. Here's a blow up of a glomerulus underneath. In this case, this uh, glomerulus, in fact, the whole tissue was stained with PAS. The uh, tissue on top is a regular H&E uh, stain. You can see some small glomeruli out here. You can see a whole bunch of tubules. And you don't see too much by way of diseases within the tubules. In fact, in all honesty, uh, if all you had was a light microscope and a H and E stain, you might not think there was much going on in these glomeruli either. However, when you do a special PAS stain, periodic Iotic, periotic acid shift stain, PAS, uh, in this disease you can see deposits of immune material in the basement membrane which causes the basement membranes <coughs> excuse me, to appear quite thick. And if you were lucky enough to have access to electron microscopy <coughs> excuse me again, you will notice that the thickenings in the basement membrane are somewhat spiked. You cannot appreciate it just from this PAS stain, however. Uh, nevertheless, uh, membranous uh, glomerulonephritis is associated or caused by a variety of things, and in adults, it's one of the most uh, common causes of the uh, nephrotic syndrome. Uh, thank you very much.